Good Sunday evening, everybody. Welcome to Weather Overtime. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick check of the forecast, which involves some much nicer weather for Sunday. Things were very calm, very quiet, not to mention very dry. We did start off with a little bit of fog this morning, but things looking a lot more quiet as we went through the rest of the day today. So hopefully you had a chance to get out and take a look and see what was going on across much of the area for today, as we did see, again, some very pleasant conditions. We'll take a look at the Beale Street Music Fest, see how things are going down at Tom Lee Park in just a little bit as the festival comes to an end where weather is concerned on a very high note. No problems at all being seen today. A little drizzly out there for Saturday. And again, starting things off on a bit of a cool note out there with a little bit of rain on Friday night, but things looking quite nice. Heading into the rest of the week, we've got again the possibility of some nice weather starting off. And then as we go into the next several days, we see the potential of again some more thunderstorms, maybe the potential of some of those becoming strong to severe as we get into later on this next week. About Thursday or so is going to be the best bet for some of that. If you've got any weather reports out there, drop your city and state location into the comments section and we'll read off some of those as we go along throughout the evening. Don't need a mailing address, but just give us again a city-state generic location. And if you got a time and temperature or a wind speed or rain gauge amount from yesterday, that'd be great to take a look at on there. And we'll take a look at more of your weather pictures coming up a little later on and how you can send those in. Here's what it looks like coming up overnight. Again, decently mild across much of the area for tonight. A little bit brisk as we go into very early tomorrow morning. So again, just a little bit of a brisk start to the day as we go into the temperatures tomorrow, going back into about the mid to upper 50s or so. Could be some lower 50s north and east of Memphis and the metro area, but once again, not seeing any rainfall. Clouds will be out there at times, so we'll get mostly to partly cloudy at times, mostly clear at others, partly cloudy, Good possibility as we head into and around uh, daybreak tomorrow. So there could be, again, a bit of a situation with clouds, but not seeing anything in the way of rainfall out there. Coming to an end of the day in Oxford, Mississippi, the view from the track and field facility with sunset in the upper left or right-hand corner of your screen. Cool in Oxford this evening as well. Temperatures going back into and around the lower 60s at this time. So seeing, again, some pretty cool and dry conditions across much of the Mid-South. Nice silhouette effect as we take a look toward Rhodes College on the Weather Underground camera network. Decently mild across much of the area. And again, for tonight, some mostly clear skies. Heidelberg Elementary in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Again, very nice with some dry conditions and mostly blue skies showing up. 70 degrees with calm winds. High temperature today of 79 degrees. So we did manage to wind up with a very mild start there. And a beautiful sunset tonight, actually from the position of our Hilton East Memphis camera, looking between the towers of East Memphis around Poplar and Mendenhall. The sun actually set right between the towers. It's kind of a Memphis henge effect, and we'll be posting some of those pictures on my Facebook page and, of course, on social media throughout the rest of the evening. So if you've got weather pictures, we'd love to see them. So stick around for more on that. And if you've got them, again, please paste them to my Facebook page or send them to me on Twitter. We're posting some of those links for you uh, right now. Sylvia Hend. Henley, uh, storms supposed to be strong Thursday morning or evening. Uh, possibility, we'll take a closer look at that forecast coming up here again in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more on that forecast. Beale Street Music Fest in its final hours. And, of course, things looking quite nice down that direction with the usual light and the stage and noise and everybody having a great time down there. Uh, beautiful evening. If you're still heading down there for some of the later acts, you won't need an umbrella, but you probably do need to take along a jacket as some temperatures will be, again, a little cool by the time the Music Fest finishes up in the next couple of hours. So, again, please keep that in mind if you're heading out the door coming up for that later on. Otherwise, a beautiful end of the weekend and the Music Festival out there as drier air swept through and did a good job of taking out the rain and the clouds. Not much of anything left out of that, so very nice across the Mid-South right now. But taking a look back toward the north and to the west over parts of Nebraska, Iowa, Kansas, down into Oklahoma and Texas, New thunderstorms developing here. These will not be affecting us, but notice that the cloud cover off these might drift their way across Arkansas and Missouri into the Mid-South as we go into tonight and tomorrow morning. Add to that a new storm system getting developed back off to the desert southwest. 
It's going to swing our direction later on this week, and that is where we see uh, the potential for, again, more chances of showers and some thunderstorms coming up. Again, some of those could be uh, on the strong to severe side out there. So, again, keep that in mind for any outdoor plans. Here in the Mid-South, Storm Tracker 3S radar, zip, zilch, nada, absolutely nothing showing up for this evening. Clean sweeps across the entire Mid-South for right now. Comfortable as well. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 60s, so very nice again for Sunday evening. It will be a bit brisk later on, so take those jackets with you just to be on the safe side to ward off that chill. All right, let's run the numbers, see what we got going on for you as we go into the next 24 hours or so. And again, through tonight, a bit brisk, 50s, lower 60s as we go into the rest of this evening. Getting the kids out the door for the bus stop tomorrow morning, lower 50s across portions of the eastern parts of the viewing area, West Tennessee, North Mississippi. That's where we should see, again, the possibility of some uh, dry conditions, but fairly cool for tomorrow as well. Uh, Peggy Ross Neff getting on the, ro the road Thursday morning, heading to Denver, depending on if you're driving or flying. Hopefully you can avoid some of those storms if you're flying, but if you're driving, you may have to watch out for uh, some of that on the roadways as you're heading out that general direction. Now, the next possibility of picking up some rainfall, still a couple of days away. The computer models, when you have a very dry atmosphere, anytime anything starts showing up in the way of a little bit more cloud cover. Some of these computer models will go full tilt over the top, a little bit too gung-ho on this to be able to say that there's rain coming in. They'll overestimate it. So right now, I don't see any chance of rainfall heading into the Mid-South as we go to around Monday or so. So good news on that. Even though it does seem to be getting a little bit close to the Mid-South on this display, it's still very dry across the Mid-South, so we're just not expecting much of anything out there. Now, through the rest of next week, again, that could be a much different story out there. And that's what we're going to be looking for for right now. Now, tomorrow, again, Late during the day, northwest of Little Rock, we may see the potential of some more storms popping up late on Monday, but not a threat for us. Then, as we go into the rest of the forecast, taking a look at next week early, for the rest of Monday, the possibility of, again, severe weather stretched out from just west of St. Louis down into the Panhandles. And we see, again, also this very interesting signature here to where we have a much wider severe weather threat as we go into Tuesday. Now, again, mid-south over here, not seeing anything right now, some generic thunderstorms in the pale green area. But this is significant because if we're seeing this much severe weather on the forecast this far out in the next several days, this definitely needs to be paid attention to and to be flexible on the plans out there. Now, as we go toward the area, say, around Thursday, that's where the Storm Prediction Center is showing a pretty decently wide swath of severe weather potential out there. Now, so far, it's just a slight risk, but once again, this is one of those things we're just going to have to watch out for uh, as we go throughout the course of the rest of the next couple of days. Again, as things change, we'll keep you up to date on that, so stay tuned for more there. Mild tomorrow, temperatures back in the lower 80s. Mostly sunny, partly cloudy, partly clear, mostly cloudy, back and forth, back and forth. It'll be that way throughout the rest of the day. Now, by Tuesday evening, we could see some scattered showers across the Mid-South. Maybe a rumble of thunder by midnight Wednesday or so. Showers and thunderstorms most likely as we go from Wednesday afternoon and evening overnight into Thursday. And that's also where we stand the best possibility, it looks like, of severe weather. So once again, that's going to be the main thing uh, for us to watch out for as this continues uh, into the Mid-South area. So definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3 uh, for more information on that. Now, Mother's Day, unfortunately, we were talking about the potential of things kind of quieting down for now. It appears that this storm system that's moving on through is going to be slowing down by just a little bit. And if that's the case, then we push the thunderstorms out of Tuesday into Wednesday. So we'll push it off for just a little bit. And then we see the potential of stronger storms Thursday. Lingering showers and thunderstorms could be a problem now for Mother's Day coming up next weekend, where 24 hours ago it was just 
completely and totally smooth sailing. So this could also change into the course of the next couple of days. So definitely want to stay tuned uh, for more on that. Pleasant on the temperatures, 60s by Friday for highs, lower 70s, giving your air conditioning, utility bills a bit of a break. That'll be nice. But uh, as of right now, the warmest we're going to get, it looks like it's about the mid-80s on Tuesday. Keep in mind that at this time of the year, we can get some pretty hot weather out there, about the 90s or even close to the triple digits. So for right now, it's looking decently mild. And again, hopefully your air conditioning system won't have to work too hard on that. Don't have any weather pictures to share at this time at least from anything involving what my photography is like. You can catch up on what I've been taking pictures of with the News Channel 3 cameras on my social media pages. But if you have anything in the way of weather pictures, we'd love to see them and share them. So again, drop them to Twitter, my Facebook page, or my Instagram page. Or again, I'm out there on various social media platforms. You'll you find me at various locations out there. Very important day, Asteroid Day, is coming up in about 54 days. What is that? On June the 30th, it is the anniversary of the large meteor or comet that smacked into northeastern Siberia, 1908, in a region called Tunguska. That one had a, the power of numerous atomic bombs, and that was just one example of what's flinging around out in the solar system out there. So the United Nations, in order to bring you up to date on what's going on with what's happening with tracking and preparing for asteroids and hopefully, again, getting them known about a lot sooner before they become a problem to our planet and us, this is what this day is all about. We'll keep you updated on this over the next several days. So stay tuned for more from the United Nations on Asteroid Day. Uh, Brian May from Queen, also an astrophysicist, he's big involved in this. So we're looking forward to hearing more about the celebration uh, for 2019 coming up here. Mars Lander getting a high temperature a couple of days ago of one degree above zero and a negative te temperature maximum or the minimum of 144 degrees below zero. This is the latest probe to drop to Mars to study the possibility of Mars quakes. And it may have found one a couple of days ago, including the sound of the wind blowing past on the Martian surface. More information about exometeorology, weather on other planets, Go to mars.nasa.gov for a lot more information. My forecast on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations for the rest of the weekend. And, of course, I'll be on bright and early with Bob and Josh tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. on AM 730 and 1600 with TalkBack Live. Can't listen on the radio? Dial them up online at talkbacklivenetwork.org for a bunch more information on that. And, of course, we'll have Weather Where the Troops Are coming up in just about half an hour. So if you have friends, loved ones, family members serving around the globe, we'll take a look at some of the locations where they may be serving. Totally free, publicly accessible information for weather, and it's all available right here. Also, don't forget to download our latest podcast, again, Emotional Terror. Tim and Jim talk more about what it's like to do severe weather from in front of the cameras and thinking about what your loved ones may be going through out there. Spotify, iTunes, and WREG.com for more details on that. Okay, one more check of the forecast. Again, numbers cooling off to about the mid-50s for Shelby County in Memphis and then heading for the mid to upper 60s with clouds kind of coming and going but should be dry. Kids will not need anything in the way of rain protection for tomorrow, so good news on that. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Complete check of your forecast into the week, coming up with Todd Demers, bright and early tomorrow morning on Daybreak, starting at 4.30. Corey Ventura will have more on Time Saver Traffic, so again, stay tuned for a lot more on that, and also again throughout the rest of the week with Tim and Jim, and keep up to date with us on our social media networks as well. Questions, concerns, anything you'd like to know, anything you'd like to see more of, let me know. All you have to do is drop me a line at austin.onic at wreg.com. We'd love to hear from you, so whatever you got in mind, let us know, and we'll see if we can include it as part of our weather overtime package of information on here. Stay tuned for much more. Complete update of your forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. We'll be on a little late, thanks to golf, at about 10.20 or so. So stay tuned for that. And, of course, stick around online for more information and some great sunset pictures throughout the rest of the evening. Thanks for joining us. Have a safe week, and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest Mid-South weather information and forecast updates. Thanks for joining us tonight.